Alright, back again Luke here. And today we've got out the old Kix91 control box super gun, and I figured we could put in this game here. Technosis, the combat tribes. So, let's pop this on and play some of that. Well, this is a, an interesting game here. It's a bit similar to some of the uh, classics like uh, Rampage, made by Taito. But I figured we could go ahead and give this a shot. I think one of the interesting things about this game is that uh, you can wind up increasing your life. The more coins that you put in, I'll show you here. We're going to put in a ton of coins just so you guys can see. But um, the downside of this game is that it is too similar to Rampage, and it seems like it would be so much better with just uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up instead of uh, the Rampage style. But here we've got our three characters we can choose from. Uh, this is the character we've chosen. And uh, each stage has a round, but you'll notice up in the upper left-hand corner it says 148. That's actually your health. But if we press the start button here, since we put in a ton of coins, and with a little bit of a pause in between, you'll notice that we can increase that health quite a lot. So, right now I think the max that we have is like 1600, <laughs> so that will basically allow us to stay alive here until that health goes down. And one nice thing about it is it doesn't go down with time, it actually goes down when you get hit. But Kind of the downside of this, I mean the game looks beautiful and it's a really cool looking game. Uh, it has some neat bosses to it, a uh, surprising like little final boss to it, but uh, the kind of downside of it is that you can't really pick up any of the enemy's weapons. You can toss them around and you can kind of smash their faces and you can do all sorts of other stuff to it, but you can't pick up any weapons. You can pick up motorcycles and odd things that are there, there's only like one or two, but that's it. Um, and the little henchmen here, they do have a tendency to get quite annoying after a while. But a couple of tricks that you can do is you can go over the henchmen, you can kind of pick them up and swing them around, you can throw them at the, uh, the enemies here. But the enemy ha or the uh, game itself has six stages to it, the sixth one being the final stage. And, uh, like I said, it is interesting. It's a, it's a cool game, but uh, it just would be so much better, I think, if it had that Streets of Rage or original Double Dragon, where you could just kind of move along with the game instead of just doing one act and then jumping to the next part. But... Here's our second stage here. This is a game that I was always curious about, because you don't... I suppose you don't hear a whole lot about this one. Um, probably just, you know, because it didn't make the cut. And it may be a toss-up. Some people don't like, uh, what is it? Uh, Double Dragon 3. But I think Double Dragon 3 might actually be a bit better than this one. Um, just in terms of length and playability and... I know they're on two different levels and whatnot, but uh, I just feel like Technos could have done just a little bit better with this one. It had a whole lot of potential, I think, but not super bad, and it, like I said, if you're really into the uh, Rampage games or the Nick Ketsukunio-kun series, um, this can be a game that you can also enjoy. Uh, definitely has that factor to it. There's some of the uh, attacks here. We're getting up on our boss. There's our boss here. Kind of looks a little bit slightly like uh, Karnov in a way, but uh, he does the fire breathing and it can be tricky to get behind. With these extra enemies, sometimes you have to defeat all the enemies on screen just to get to the boss, because if not, you're just getting nailed from behind, and it can be really frustrating. Just getting caught in like one of these traps, getting hit from the back and then the front. And... I 
This is the part where he kind of goes up the stairs here. And once you defeat all these guys, we still got a go kart here. We can use that to our advantage. I don't think there's anything else we can use. But yeah, just a limited amount of weapons. It'd be kind of nice, I think, if you could pick up a couple of the weapons that the enemies had as well, but unfortunately you can't. That's kind of a cool move. There we go. And it'll automatically carry you up the stairs here. It's kind of like moving along to the end, but um, the game is definitely designed to take advantage of your quarters <laughs> or your, your money for sure. Um, the later stages will prove that tenfold and be like, what the heck, you know, why am I just constantly dying? And it's like, ah, that's why. This game is just a quarter muncher, so. Moving up to the next stage. All right, here we go. He can be really tricky because once you get him into, you know, a pattern, you can think that you're going to knock him down, but then he just, he gets out of it somehow. And it, sometimes he'll turn it around on you, so... Uh, kit detection sometimes is not the greatest, as you can see here. And you can get flipped around the other way, which happens quite a bit. Come on. Once you get flipped around, it does take a couple seconds for you to get moved back, you know, to try and flip your character around the other direction. But we're getting to uh, about the halfway mark here. Now this is the skateboarding or the uh, roller skating ones or rollerblading ones here. They can be just a bit frustrating because they just keep coming, and you know you're just watching your back here, watching out for more of them. If you can get these guys to consistently fall down and then uh, swing around the other guys, it works out much better. Because if not, you're just getting hit from behind and. You'll notice how they're all kind of hanging out over here. And then, you know, once again, getting that aim on here. I'm not sure exactly where the best spot is, but I think trapping them over here on this side is probably the, the best. Um, just because you can get most of them. Um, Swing him around. I think that's all of them. Nice. This will bring us down to this next stage. It's kind of neat. It has some cool stuff to it, you know. The, the backgrounds are pretty cool to look at. And some of the sound effects, like in the first stage, you got the sounds of the horns and the cars going behind you. It is cool. Um, and it does look really aesthetically pleasing, but the thing about the controls is just... And the, the game style, you know, it, it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, origina originality with the gameplay. Keep swinging them around here. Until you get them all gone. Ah, oh, come on, I thought that was going to get those guys. Ah. Alright, this is kind of cool, with a little flashing going on there. We've got our boss here. But once again, these are all the skater ones, you kind of want to get them. The rollerbladers, you know, you want to get them out of the way here, because just keep getting hit, 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 hit. And then you get trapped in the, uh, the loop here. And since he's got a bat, or a hammer, it's just... Getting close to him is just hard. Uh, 
It's hard to even tell if we're getting him or not. You do have your kick move, you know, which does work for a little bit, but eventually they'll catch on to it and they'll just get smashed. Uh, come on. That was a chance for me to kind of knock him down. There we go. But this is one of those ones where you have to defeat all of the enemies here before you can pass the stage. And there we go. We've got stage three there. Well, like I said, just want to share with you guys a little bit of a look at what the Combat Tribes looks like here, made by Technos. And it is an interesting game uh, to give a shot. I mean, if you get a chance, once again, there you go, the, the directional stuff here. But uh, just needs a bit more, I think, to make it um, that much more memorable. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Oh. Watching some dudes getting knocked down here. cheap. Come on. Let me get out of this. Oh, come on. I need to get one of these guys down. Press start to regain power. Added a couple coins. That'll be our limit there, I think. There's a bunch of button mashing going on. Once we lose this 400 that we've got now, we we'll just call it a call it a game. If you don't get in, get these guys at the right time, they'll stand back up again, so you won't be able to uh, swing them around. There's our boss. Uh, does some a uh, few pro wrestling moves and like a elbow drop, like a Ultimate Warrior in a way. Ah, oh, jeez, like that stuff is just you know. <laughs> what do you do in that situation? Yeah. And when you get close to him, I mean, he's just takes a while to get that uh, axe out of his hands. And then once you do, now he'll do his pro wrestling drops. I find that this guy is easier to defeat with the uh, jump kick. You can get it off. You gotta be a little bit further from him. Come on, that should have hit him. Come on. Because he seems to get better range pound for pound with the punching. Somehow. Come on. Oh, I've got nothing left here. Whoa. This is either going to be epic or it's going to be a fail. He's, he's really rushing it. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, he got me. <laughs> That's where we're going to end it, guys. So at least you can see. Well, you know what? i got to get rid of him. <laughs> oh, that's all he needed, too. <laughs> But just to show you uh, at the end of stage three there, and you can see act four, like I said, there's act four, five, and six, so. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting game to give a shot, but uh, just needed a little bit more to make it uh, a 
a classic. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Watching the character get beat down. <laughs> guy's just jumping around there. It's like, do, 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 do. He's just jamming to the music, isn't he? <laughs> Crazy animation there. But well, there you go, guys.